Andy Garner. Uh, my name is uh, Ron Garner. After a couple of months of church shopping, we found the Resonate service here uh, and fell in love with it and um, thought this would be a great place to raise our children. We both really, uh, really appreciated the message that was being preached at uh, the Resonate service. Uh, spoke to us deeply and was something that I really connected with and I told Randy this is the uh, this is the church I want to become a member to. I was saved at church camp um, back when I was around 14 years old and then uh, around 24 made a deeper commitment and I'm here today to follow in the next step of faith with baptism. When I met Randy uh, you know we started attending the uh, this church service in uh, Corpus Christi and we, uh, at the conclusion of every single service, we say the salvation prayer. And the very first time that I was in Church Unlimited and I said that salvation prayer, that's when I felt that connection again uh, that I felt when I was uh, a young child. And that's when I decided that I needed to turn over my life to, uh, to Jesus and uh, put Him in control of everything. Um, and the results that we've seen, you know, just through tithing and anything else we've done since turning our life over to Jesus. It's just been incredible. I've been extremely blessed with our new daughter for, uh, moving up here to uh, Magdalene, so. I'm Randy and I'm a Christ follower. And I'm Ron and I am a Christ follower. Right, well, it's like I'm saying, it's just this extremely great day. And I think it's important to note that these, today is, in my opinion, an incredible day to remember, to talk to your baby about, and to look back on and say, hey, no matter what happens, we've got to walk by these memories to walk out of this thing. And I think it's incredible what you guys are doing. Today, as they follow through in what we call believer's baptism through immersion, it's, it's incredibly important to remember that they are not being saved from their sins. No, they are exhibiting what God did through Christ on the outside he already did that on the inside of them. He already changed their heart. They're already working through a process of becoming more like Jesus every day in their life. Baptism is a symbol for those in witness to see what God has done that no one can see. And, and so that's this gift that we have. And that makes baptism more than just for Randy and Ron. Actually, it makes it only for everybody else. So if you're here today and you remember when you were baptized and you're remembering that your life does not look the way it looked then, don't forget that this is God's call to you. And if you're here today and you've never understood what it means to give your life to Christ and step over the line of faith, past knowledge, to move into relationship with Him, understand that the God of the universe is not above bringing a sweet little baby to make you come to a church service to encounter you in a real and personal way. So whatever got you here today, whatever got you up, whatever fight you had, understand this. You're here now, and the decision is yours. How will this moment in their life affect your life going forward? That's how the body changes. That's how we become a church for every generation. It's because every generation keeps moving towards becoming the next generation. So, Randy, because you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Ronald, in the same way, because of your belief in Jesus and your commitment to him as a follower of Jesus Christ, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Father, we bless you. We thank you. Your name is hallowed. Your name is magnified. And we come to you and approach you in the only way we can in full humility and thank you for what you've done in these lives so that other lives can be changed. Lord, I do pray for this family and I pray for their deep dedication to you and I pray for this 
family of faith here at Magnolia's First, that you would continue to bring us together through people being willing to share where you've brought them and allow others to be benefactors of that. So today, what a great day. What a day where you're honored. What a day that you're glorified. And we ask you to do all that you will through it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.